Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The University of Kentucky and Williamson Health and Wellness are partnering to bring to you Appalachian Community Health Days this weekend. Wednesday, we spoke with Community Network Resource Director Amy Henna about how you can get involved. So we were approached by UK. They have a grant from HRSA to do some rural health development, and um, they are doing what they call Appalachian Community Health Days. So the reason they reached out to Williams Health and Wellness Center is because we have a strong presence here in Mingo County, and part of their grant um, coverage area was to include Mingo and Wayne. So we are doing health fairs. We know that um, social one of the social determinants of health that really truly deters people from reaching out for health care at times is transportation issues and accessibility. So what we are hoping is that by taking out some basic screenings like A1Cs, blood pressure checks, um, stroke risk scorecards, some of those things, we can start to get people thinking about their health. If indeed we come across someone who has high blood pressure, uh, we can give them a blood pressure cuff on site that day. Um, we can refer them to a physician to help get them under care. And if someone you know, screens high for A1C, then we can start getting them into the diabetic program at Williams Health and Wellness Center. Hannah continues to say that the event focuses on individuals becoming self-aware of potential health issues. It does seem to be. Lots of people, I think, like I said, in this area, it's just our culture that um, the, the moms especially tend to uh, take care of everybody else's needs, the kids, the husband, the other family members, and they put their needs on the back burner. So, um, in a tr like I said, access is also often difficult for people. So I just think it, it becomes an issue of Sometimes people don't want to know or they just stay so busy they don't, they don't make the time to really find out and know. So. COVID-19 testing and vaccinations will be offered as well. You can find the health fair this Saturday, October 2nd at Kermit City Park in Kermit, West Virginia from 10 to 2 p.m. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.